uh, tell us about the uh, from electrosynthesis to the measurement of the Higgs physics. Let's go. All right. Um, before I start, let me thank first the organizers uh, for inviting me to give this talk. Uh, today I will talk about from electric variogenesis to the measurements of uh, dihics physics. My talk will start from the uh, from one of the biggest puzzles in the universe, cosmic baryon symmetry. This uh, cosmic baryon symmetry has puzzled people for a long time. As Sakharov pointed out about half a century ago, if the so-called Sakharov conditions are satisfied, then the cosmic baryon symmetry um, can be generated in a, a dynamic way. Then, following, uh, following this line, various mechanisms have been proposed to implement this picture. Among these possibilities, electric baryogenesis is, uh, is of particularly uh, 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 interest because it has a strong correlation uh, with the Higgs physics, which enable it potentially be uh, testable at colliders. Electric baryogenesis require uh, electric phase transition to be first order and be realized via bubble nucleation in the early universe. If the If the interaction between the uh, bubble and the particles in the thermal plasma is CP violating, then um, the scattering between the bubble and the uh, and these particles can uh, lead to a, a non-zero net number for left chiral fermions uh, in the uh, thermal plasma, which can be further conver converted into a, a barrier number of sym symmetry via electroweak cephalorum uh, process. If the electric phase transition is of strongly first order, then the generator, uh, the generator baryon symmetry can be frozen until today. This is the basic picture of uh, electric, uh, electric baryon genesis, which is uh, uh, well known to people. <laughs> However, here, um, strongly first order electroweak phase transition requires uh, uh, profile for the Higgs potential in the early universe with a bump. This feature, this, this feature uh, in turn adds a strong constraints on the tri Higgs couplings at uh, zero temperature. Actually, this is not easy to achieve in the standard model. So in the past decades, Various uh, 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 mechanisms were proposed to uh, to get a strongly first order phase, uh, electric phase transition in the early universe. Next, I will show several examples. The first example is to use uh, uh, mixing between Higgs field and a singlet to uh, generate such a profile. This potential defines a toy model. Uh, in which there is uh, additional uh, singlet real field. And this uh, real field can obtain a web and uh, mix with uh, uh, Higgs field. At zero temperature, at zero temperature, the tri Higgs coupling, in this case, can receive uh, contributions from a bunch of uh, new parameters, which can, be, uh, uh, which can be coefficients of either cubic, new cubic terms or new uh, uh, cordial terms. So in this case, it is not strange that um, the distribution of the trihex couplings is broad. And in this plot, in this plot, all of these black uh, black uh, points uh, can yield a, a strongly first order electric phase transition, and the different colors represent the various deviations of the trihex coupling from its standard model value. This is the first example. The second example, the second example. Um, 
In the second example, people use uh, uh, interaction between a Higgs field and a charged scalar to generate such a profile at, uh, um, at the uh, quantum level. Electrode biogenesis in the minimal supersymmetric scanner model falls into this uh, category where the role of, uh, of this charged scalar is played by, uh, by stop quarks. This is known to us. In this case, in this case, the distribution of the triplex coupling values is more convergent to a region where uh, 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 the where the triplex coupling value is larger than its standard model value. To understand this, we can um, we can consider a, a toy model where uh, only one additional charged scalar is introduced. And uh, let's consider the limit where the uh, master for this scalar field is small. In such a case, in such a case, the triplex coupling at zero temperature can, can be solved out. It turns out that the value of the triplex coupling is about 1.5 times of the uh, standard model triplex coupling. This is a second example. Okay, let's consider a third example. In this case, higher dimensional operators are introduced to get a strongly first order electrical phase transition. This mechanism was introduced by uh, Chris Gorgi and James Wells uh, many years ago. In this case, in this case, the distribution of the uh, triplex coupling values at zero temperature is even more convergent. But its calculation is pretty straightforward. In this case, the, the ratio between the triplex coupling and its standard model value is equal to one plus such an extra term, which is uh, measured by, uh, by the cutoff of uh, lambda. According to numerical analysis, strongly first order electrical phase transition favor a lambda of several hundred GeVs. So, it is, it, so it is not strange to say that um, for successful, uh, uh, for successful uh, strong first order phase transition, uh, strong first order electrical phase transition, the triplex coupling value at zero temperature is uh, uh, is big compared to the other is is bigger compared to the other two cases. I'm sorry. In this case, is lambda still perceptive? Lambda is a couple. No, no, lambda it is three. Ah, lambda three, yeah. It's still perceptive? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it is perceptive. Yeah, we have uh, a loop, loop, uh, loop factor suppression, right? So certainly it is uh, perceptive. No, but the value is so big. Yeah, of course. Uh, if we go to high energy scale, there potentially is a, 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 there exists a lambda two problem, but that is beyond the discussion. No, no, I'm sorry, I'm not talking about lambda 4. I'm, I'm saying that the, the usual criteria is lambda 3 squared divided by 4 pi should be less than 1, right? Oh, so this is not the absolute value. This is a ratio. Oh, sorry. Yeah, this is ratio, sorry. Yeah, this is a ratio of the practice copy and its standard model value. Yeah, sorry, this, uh, the, this definition is not so clear here. Okay, according to the uh, illustration of these examples, we see that the triplex coupling provides a probe for the electric uh, <laughs> provides a probe for uh, for the strength of the electric phase transition in the early universe and uh, uh, test of the viability of electric biogenesis. The value of the triplex coupling can be extracted uh, by measuring uh, lattice per, uh, production at gliders. <coughs> in the standard model, in the standard model, the lattice production can be uh, uh, can be uh, uh, made in similar ways uh, to that of a single Higgs production. For example, they can be produced via uh, ground fusion, 
uh, the air uh, vector boson fusion, uh, Higgs straddle, and uh, uh, pop quark associated process. However, however, it is much more challenging to search for dipping production at uh, uh, colliders compared to a single Higgs production. The reason is that the production cross section for di Higgs uh, for di Higgs events is uh, pretty low. For example, at a 14 TeV uh, uh, TeV collider, the production cross section uh, varies from uh, from 0.4 uh, uh, femtobar to roughly uh, 34 uh, femtobar. This is uh, this is very low compared with uh, production cross section of single Higgs uh, single Higgs uh, event. Uh, because of this, because of this, so far most studies on uh, di Higgs uh, production, most studies on di Higgs physics is focused on is focused on, uh, focused on the channel gluon gluon fusion because this channel can provide a relatively large uh, cross section. In spite of uh, in spite of all this, in spite of all this, the decay into a BB and a diphoton, the decay into BB and a diphoton, uh, is thought to be uh, is thought to be the most promising. A channel for searching for dihex production because of its relatively clean background. With the information about the um, uh, measurement of dihex production cross section, the, uh, the value of the dihex coupling can be. Uh, can be figured out, and uh, its precession can be estimated uh, via the differential cross section uh, of this process. Here, uh, f can be understood as uh, slope of the uh, the slope of the curve for the dihex uh, 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 production. Here. Uh, from uh, from this relation, we we can see that for the same uh, dihex production process, for the same dihex production process, if the slope is large, if its magnitude is large, then the precision, then the, the precision of the dihex copy measurement will be relatively. This is uh, uh, this is not hard to understand because this means that uh, this means that uh, uh, in this case the dihex production is more sensitive to the value of the trihex coupling. This okay then this tells us that uh, for the same process for the same, same process even if the significance of measuring the dihex production is the same. The precision of measuring the trihex coupling is different. This depends on the slope of this curve. Even though uh, PP two x is uh, uh, has a uh, has a large production cross a very large uh, production cross section. It has a couple of limitations in marrying the trihex coupling. The reason is that the reason is that in the neighborhood of the standard model, the, uh, the production cross section of PP to HH has a negative correlation with the trihex coupling. We say uh, with uh, large. With a larger trihex coupling, actually the production cross section for PP to HH actually decreases, right, in this region. In addition, in addition, there exists a degeneracy in uh, there exists a, a, a degeneracy in the electroweak virgin favored parameter uh, region 
because of this feature, because of this feature, as uh, <coughs> traffic uh, as a traffic coupling increases, the production cross section of PP two HH becomes becomes weaker compared to uh, uh, compared to the uh, 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 to the story in the standard model neighborhood, simply because the slope in this region becomes smaller compared to the uh, compared to its value in the standard model region. Therefore, to explore the dynamics of physics, a strategy complementary to the PP to HH is needed. If we check, um, if we check the dynamics productions, uh, the productions of the dynamics productions in this plot, we may say, uh, hex, uh, we, we may say PP two top top hex hex potentially can uh, close such a loop, and this is true. Next, I will show that uh, uh, it does face such uh, uh, face such a loop. Different from the PP to hex hex, the production of PP to TT hex hex has a positive correlation with the triplex coupling in the standard model neighborhood. This led to a double enhancement of the uh, sensitivity with a positive shift in the, uh, uh, in the in, with a positive shift in triplex coupling. Yeah, the reason is simple. First, it leads to a higher signal rate. Second, the uh, production cross section of this channel becomes uh, uh, has a stronger dependence on the traffic coupling in this region. Another comment that I would like to make is that different from the uh, PP to Higgs Higgs search, uh, where we need the dipoton to suppress the, uh, the huge QC background, for the PP to TT Higgs Higgs, actually we, we, it is not necessary for one of the Higgs to decay into a pair of uh, uh, photons because of, uh, because of the additional top parts which potentially can help suppress QC background. For illustration, let's consider the case into four big quarks. Okay, we can make a comparison between the uh, uh, production cross-sections for PP to TT Higgs Higgs and further into TT and 4B. And here, this is uh, PP to Higgs Higgs to BB plus dipole It is easy to check for PP to BB plus dipole the cross section is roughly 35 etwa. It is characterized by a relatively high cross section and a production cross section and a low branch ratio. Different from this case, for TT Higgs Higgs, it is, char uh, it is characterized by relatively low cross section and uh, high branch ratio. Its cross section is uh, Roughly 300 etwa, so we say it is roughly one order larger than, than that of BB plus dipole. In this case, in this case, the main background is from uh, TT plus 4B jets and uh, TT plus DIB jets and uh, two baked B jets. Here, I will not go into the details of the collider analysis. But here's the outcome is that, here's the outcome is that, with the Swift, uh, 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 with the Swift 1000 inverse Fenbar of data, a two sigma statistical significance can be achieved uh, using the uh, dielectronic decay mode of top top and uh, electronic uh, dipole decay mode. This is comparable. This is comparable with uh, statistical significance achieved uh, via the PP to Higgs Higgs 
to BB plus dipole time uh, channel. But here, I would like to uh, mention that uh, in, um, for the for the TT TT Hicks, uh, Hicks, Hicks searches, uh, there exists a theoretical uncertainty. This is because so far, so far, only leading order calculations for the cross section of TT plus 4B and the TT uh, plus BBCC are available. So to suppress this uncertainty, NLO calculation uh, or data field method are needed. This is a comment about this search. Okay, with this input, we can extract the value of the traffic couplings and uh, make a comparison between the TT, uh, TT fix case search and, uh, T, uh, and the PP2 fix case search. In the neighborhood of the standard model, just using this, this relation, we found that okay, a statistical accuracy of 150% uh, can be reached for TT fix, fix case to TT4B. As a comparison, the statistical accuracy is 60% where the uh, BB dipotent channel. This is easy to understand because, because the cross section, the production cross section of PP to hex hex is more sensitive to the value of the tri hex coupling in the standard model neighborhood compared to the TT hex hex production. It is bad. However, this is not the whole story. As I mentioned, as I mentioned, um, electrical phase transition of, of strongly first order favors uh, uh, large tri Higgs coupling. Okay, next uh, let me show what kind of role the PP2 TT Higgs Higgs can play in such a case. Let's consider the, fir uh, 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 the first, uh, let's consider uh, the, the case uh, where there exists a mixing between the Higgs field and, uh, uh, and a, a, a singlet scalar. As I, as, I uh, as, I just introduced, as I just introduced, in this case, the distribution of the trifix coupling at zero temperature is pretty broad. It can be either larger than the standard, uh, 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 than the standard model value or smaller <coughs> than the standard model, model value. But now let's consider uh, the case with 50% uh, deviation from, the, uh, 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 from its standard model value. In such a case, in such a case, it is easy to. In such a case, it is easy to check. The production cross section of PP to TT Higgs is doubled relative to the production cross section of PP to Higgs Higgs. In addition, in addition, the dependence, the dependence of the. Uh, production cross section, or the dependence of the uh, Dyckis production cross section on the Trachis coupling becomes comparable in this case. This means that if there exists a, a 50% deviation um, for the Trachis coupling in the positive direction, then the precession of uh, TT Hex to TT 4B is twice as high as that of the TT of the Higgs Higgs to BB plus dipole in measuring the tri Higgs coupling. As for the other two cases, where um, uh, 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 where the uh, bump for the Higgs potential is generated by, uh, by some additional charge scalar at the quantum level, and, uh, uh, and uh, 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 the bump is generated by introducing higher dimensional operators. In these two cases, as, uh, uh, as we've already seen, uh, 
um, uh, the distribution of the trackless copy is more convergent, uh, is more convergent, and a larger trackless copy value is favored. So we can easily conclude that the TGHX hex production can play a more essential role in these two cases. This is my conclusion. The PPT to TTX opens a new avenue for marine dikes physics complementary to PP uh, to hex hex. However, here I would like to stress, so far, only leading order analysis ha uh, have, has been pursued uh, for uh, PP to TT hex hex. And the further improvements of the proposed analysis are certainly possible. As a matter of fact, advanced analysis strategies, for example, like a jet substructure, uh, motivate analysis method, have been successfully applied for searching for PP to hex to uh, BB plus diphoton, dipol, or uh, di W. As a uh, as an example, as an example. Um, Okay, this is this is a plot uh, that I borrowed from some paper, uh, some recent paper written by uh, Vernon Barger and his collaborators. In uh, in this in their paper, they point out uh, with the MVA method applied, the sensitivity of searching for uh, of searching for dihex production via PP to hex hex uh, to BB plus dipoton can be increased by five times. So the question is, so the question is, if we apply similar strategies, if we apply these advanced analysis strategies to the searches for the TT hex hex, then what is the story? A second, uh, uh, a second question that uh, uh, we also need to address is that the DACX production can receive contributions not only from TriFix company, but also from uh, from some other uh, new physics like uh, uh, like this higher dimensional operator. The, in, the, in this sense, it is similar to what happened to the DACX production via ground uh, uh, fusion. From these Feynman diagrams, we can see such a higher dimensional op operator can contribute to this production we are, uh, uh, we are the last uh, final diagrams. Actually, the story is similar for TT hex hex. Yeah, uh, because we can see using this uh, high dimensional operator, actually, TT hex hex can be produced via a, a pop fusion process. So the question is how to dis disentangle the contributions of prior hex coupling and, uh, uh, and the new physics uh, interpreted uh, uh, or encoded by such a high dimensional operator. And some preliminary studies have been done by Chuan Ren and, uh, and the yellow for the, uh, for the PP2 hex hex already. If you are interested in this topic, you can check, you can check their paper. The last question is, what are the prospects of marine dihex physics at the next generation PP colliders? As a, matter of, uh, as a matter of fact, the production cross-section of PP to TT hex, uh, hex hex actually increases faster compared to the production cross-section of PP to hex hex as the energy scale increases. At a 14 TV, uh, at a 14 TV PP collider, the cross-section of PP to hex hex is roughly uh, 35 times larger than that of the PP to uh, TT hex hex. But at a 100 TV collider, we see that uh, um, the, uh, their difference becomes smaller, and uh, it is roughly uh, 13 times larger. The production cross-section of PP to hex hex is roughly 13 times larger than that of the PP to TT hex hex. In such a case, in such a case, uh, more decay modes uh, might be used. Uh,
uh, more chemicals might be used for measuring the triphase copy or study other physics related to diphase production. So uh, the question is, uh, what is uh, 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 what is what is the story at uh, such a high energy collider? Okay, so this is uh, a basic story about my uh, talk. I will stop here. Thanks for your attention. Yeah, the answer is uh, uh, the answer is uh, yes. 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 But here, I think that uh, as I just mentioned, this is just a linear order analysis. This is may not be necessary. For example, we can uh, require probably one or uh, uh, one or two less figures. Um, Probably the sensitivity will be uh, improved, uh, but uh, I think that this is uh, worth to uh, uh, to check. But uh, as I just mentioned, as I just mentioned, I think it is more uh, worthwhile to check um, how much the advanced analysis method can improve the sensitivities of uh, a marine dynamic physics VRTT HH, similar to what people have done for. Uh, for PP2 Hex Hex. So you are asking whether we can. Yes. Try to un answer your question and to see whether I understand your question correctly. Uh, my under uh, okay. My answer is that um, um, actually here uh, it is probably we don't need to go to the next generation collider. From these two plots, from these two plots, we see that. To get a, a, a strongly first order electric weight phase transition, the deviation of the tri Higgs coupling from its stand uh, from its stand model value actually uh, need to be large. From this plot, we say okay, it varies from, for example, here it is about 1.2 to roughly 2.2, and then if we go to uh, If we go, go back to uh, this plot, we see that if, uh, uh, if, if the trice coupling is enhanced by twice, actually we see that the production cross-section for PT hex hex is, is also enhanced by a couple of times. This means that at a high luminosity LHC, we already have a good sensitivity, uh, we already have a good sensitivity to probe uh, to probe these scenarios. It is not necessary to go to a, a, a next generation um, PP collider. However, however, if we consider the first case, if we consider the first case, which is more uh, complicated, we see that the deviation of the traffic coupling uh, from its standard model value can be either uh, positive or negative. And there also exists some points which is close to, which is consistent with uh, 
uh, with uh, what happened in the standard model. So to probe this nightmare region, then probably we need to go to uh, next generation Hadron Collider. Yes, standard model Higgs plus, or standard model plus uh, singlet real scalar. But here there is no discrete uh, uh, symmetry. So a uh, mixing between the Higgs field and uh, this singlet scalar is allowed. So this is, we have three levels of Yeah, three levels. 